All right, y'all. So we're back with episode four of Spy X Family. This week, Shonen Jump took a break from dropping any of their manga series. So all I'm going to be dropping this week is anime reviews. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to watch Spy X Family. This is the only anime I'm really covering from this season. Other than that, I'm doing my watch throughs for Gintama and uh, the quintessential quadruplets. But yeah, episode four, let's get into it. I got my water for hydration and my uh, rock star because I'm only sleeping like three hours a night nowadays. But yeah, let's get into it. Episode four. The time has come. Let us check our personal effects. All clear, sir. And now our appearances. Oh shit, they about to go into the interview. All set, please. We'll do my best. Let's see if they fuck up or not. But we've done everything we could. Alright, they're heading out. Now onward. Oh shit, it seems like Anya's nervous. <laughs> it's so big. Well, it is one of the country's top schools. There are so many examinees. They're all our rivals. Anya, are you going to be okay? I'll be okay, please. Let us go. This feeling, there's no doubt about it. I've experienced this many times as a motherfucking spy. Someone was just watching us. Could it be? Is there an enemy hidden? An enemy? I feel someone's gaze. Oh yeah, Anya can hear everything this man is thinking. <laughs> it's always an unpleasant feeling to be observed like this. There. Four in the overhead, four in the bell tower, more in the buildings to the left and right. I have information on most of the staff at this school. Oh shit, they're observing him. Those are the instructors. They're observing every action to see if they're worthy of this school, which means the exam has already begun. I need you two to be on your guard. We're being watched. D68 fail. A12 fail, G114 pass. They failing motherfuckers left and right. They all lack true elegance. Good morning, housemaster. Sorry, so we see the housemaster seems like that's the head man in charge. Elegance creates tradition. Elegance is what truly makes this world a paradise. Fail any family lacking elegance immediately. Bro, anybody can fucking act like they're elegant for real. I can act like I'm fucking elegant. They are paying their respect to the statue of the founder. So elegant. Damn, it seems like they're fucking starting off on the right foot. Who is that family? K212, they are the forgers. Their daughter's Anya just barely passed the written exam with a score of 31. Absolutely not elegant and such awful penmanship. Damn, 31 is not good? We're still being observed. It's so nerve wracking being watched like this. I need to pick my nose. Absolutely not. You can't even pick your fucking nose, bro. I've accidentally fallen into the gutter. I can't get out. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Help that kid out, man. Come on, bro. Don't be dicks, please. My boy's gonna go help that kid out. Come on. That's elegant. Papa, mama, there is someone who needs our help. Please, let us save him. If y'all don't help that fat ass kid up, bro, that is not elegant if you don't help him up. Please help him up. He's about to fucking die. Stop looking at him. Help him up. Now, how will you elegantly get through? There we fucking go. Help that fat ass kid up. Splatter that shit all over your face. Are you hurt? Uh, my hanky, please? Make sure you go to the infirmary. Just in case. Infirmary. My bad, I'm fucking stupid. Clearly I expected too much. In the end of the day, there were just some commoners from the countryside. Do not think for a second that you can set foot in our house learning and wearing soiled clothes. Throw K212 out immediately. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck is even the point of joining this school, bro? Fuck these people. And prepared a change of clothes just in case. Who in the world would ever anticipate that? Besides, your gray suit seems to fit the attire at this school more. If I had continued wearing my previous suit, we could have been mistaken for commoners from the countryside. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to change, lad. 
On the top of everything else, they even thank the boy brilliant, so smart and elegant. Oh no. The animals have escaped the farmhouse. We're really going this far, Eden College? Hey, don't push me. Are they trying to see if we reveal our true colors? We'll be playing right into the examiner's hands if we panic. Do not break formation, D. Hey, who told you to go that far? Wait, it wasn't you, Housemaster. Impossible, is this an actual accident? God damn, bro. This shit better result to nobody wanting to go to this school, to be honest. Lloyd, it's happening to Miss Anya. The mass panic must have hit her. The test is the last thing I need to worry about now. That must be the leader of the herd. That's the one I need to stop. Please look after Miss Anya for a moment, Your. She better knock that cow out, bro. Two fingers jumped in the air. Landed over the cow. No way that two fucking fingers ended up knocking that cow out cold, bro. She has some supernatural ass powers. Hell no, nah, bro. That's dangerous, Anya. What is she doing? It's okay. Please don't be scared. What are you? No way that cow's about to get up. Damn, that cow... What? They're gonna go home now. Apparently so. What the fuck did Anya just do? Oh, so the, the housemaster is seeing that the Forger family saved the day. Elegance. That's pure elegance right there. These motherfuckers don't even have to do anything else now. They're in. They're in the school. He's one of the housemasters. He is in charge of this exam. You helped us avoid a crisis. I thank you. And you have bested me for today. To give us all the time to collect ourselves after this chaos, we will be delayed the start of the interviews. Return to your hall once you've had a moment to titty yourselves. What the fuck? Your family has the right to apply to our school. The forger successfully make it to the actual interview. You truly thought you could apply to our school without even knowing that? Huh? Well, cat got your tongue. Damn, Jay got sent out, boy. The forgers are in, bro. The forgers are gonna make it. What kind of answer was that? Damn, <laughs> they're about to beat the fuck out of that kid. <laughs> I've been a spy for over a decade, and for the first time, I'm actually nervous. Oh shit. Even when I infiltrated the ranks of an evil terrorist group, or when I managed to stop the launch of a missile with one second remaining, I've never found it as hard to breathe as I do right now. The fear of letting someone else decide my success. Oh shit. Next, the forgers. Yes, sir. Yes, this is definitely going to be the most crucial moment of Operation Strix. Thank you for having us. The forgers shall prevail in this game of information warfare. First, we will begin by asking the parents a few questions. The housemaster of dorm 5, Malcolm Hall. Mild manners, sincere, and conversation. The students are very fond of him. As long as we respond with sincere, logical answers, we will score highly with him. Why would a beautiful girl like you choose to be with a man who's a baggage? That was rather uncouth, Master Swan. The housemaster of dorm 2, Klein Hall. Pretty much a fucking hater. Look at him. He got the Hitler stash. He's fat as fuck. True hater. Arrogant, greedy, his wife filed for divorce last month. How the fuck does he know? Reviewing all of his previous interview questions and comments, he is clearly jealous of other families. It's best that we avoid provoking him. Now, for our next question, could you tell us why you chose to apply to our school? To get close to my target, Desmond. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Of course, you are all very knowledgeable and cultured, but when it comes to teaching anything from patriotism to how to be an elite, the instructions of the prestige Eden College are second to none. 
elegantly done, Lloyd. I knew I saw potential in you. Now then, how would the two of you describe your daughter? Please let us know about her strengths and weaknesses. Anya is an extremely curious child. Her habit of sticking her nose where it doesn't belong could be her weakness, but she is truly elegant. Elegant, huh? Shock. Sometimes it's like she sees right through me, which keeps me on my feet. And how would you describe your parenting style, madam? Just like we practiced. As you already know, I am not her biological mother. At first, I spoiled her quite often in hopes that she would like me. But for the sake of her future, I'm hoping I can become a bit stricter at times. We've been told that your daughter is a picky eater. What kind of meals do you cook at home? Huh? Cook? Damn, so they're trying to catch fucking liars, bro. You're joking. What kind of wife can't cook for her husband? You should probably be stricter with yourself before you worry about that child. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses. She is extremely titty and excels at keeping our house clean. She is also excellent mother. Yes, well both of those are things women are expected to do. It's alright Lloyd. Yes, calm down. Why are you getting irritated Twilight? She's not even your real wife. Oh shit, that's signs of him getting feelings. A lovely double couple, huh? You make me sick. I'll keep jabbing at you until you slip up. If I can't make sure these two fail, there's clearly no justice in this world. Oh shit, Anya can hear this man's thoughts. I forgot, I keep forgetting. Let us ask the young lady a question. Here it comes. First, could you tell us your name and address? What the fuck was she doing her address? My name is Anya Holger. My address is in Vertlin West District, 128 Park Avenue. And what do you do on your days off, young lady? We go to museums and eat opera. What would you like to do once you get into our school? Um, uh... I want to find out what the boss of the organization is planning. <laughs> what the fuck? The boss of the organization. What the hell? I do apologize. My daughter is rather ambitious. She's extremely curious about the headmaster. Oh, the desire to learn from her predecessors. That's quite elegant. Such an incredible resolve. It appears as though I have underestimated this young lady. I don't think you have to do quite much. Let's change the subject. What does your father do for a living? He's a sp- Oh shit, you almost slipped up. A medical health. Oh shit, boy, she almost slipped up. How do you feel about your new mother? She is very nice. But she's scary sometimes. If you were given a parent a score, what might that be? What might be the score? A perfect 100. My papa and mama are both so much fun and I love them. I want to be with them forever. Aww. In that case, would you score your old mother or your new mother higher? What the fuck? May I respectfully request a different question? Absolutely not. If you do not answer that, you will lose. What? Why even join this school, bro? Fuck these people. Just say your new mother, bro. Come on. Just say that shit. What the fuck up. Mama, I see. So you prefer your old mother. This is too cruel. Please calm down. We need to remain calm for the sake of this mission. We are nothing more than a pretend family. This is nothing. No, now, now. Second wife, don't snap at me just because she loves her real mother more. <laughs> no way, restrain yourself. No way you're going. Come on, Twilight. What just happened? I do beg your pardon. There was a mosquito. Thank you very much for your time. Hey, where are you going? The interview's not over yet. If making light of a child's feelings is part of your establishment's educational policies, then I'm afraid we have chosen the wrong school. You fiend! You dare disgrace our fine school? Come on now, you two! Please excuse us. 
don't think you'll ever walk through our gates again. I think they're gonna pass. I think the, the house master likes them and shit. I must ask, who truly disgraces our school? Huh? Damn, that boy punched him in the face. Dropped his ass. That was rather elegant, if I do say so myself. Now, will you be able to face the instructors at Eden head on, foragers? Seems like they passed. And they think they didn't. Yeah, we definitely failed. I'll go to make us some tea. I failed yet again as a spy. I let unnecessary feelings get in the way of our mission. Papa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I couldn't do better. On my tests. It's alright, Anya. You have no reason to apologize. You don't have to go to school like that. But I want to go to school. Damn, huh? If this mission fails, I have to go to school or we won't be together anymore, Anya. The grandpa with the glasses and the grandpa with the half glasses were really nice. Yes, exactly. I'm sure they'll vouch for us. Which is true. It's what happened. Spies don't believe in anyone other than themselves. They always expect the worst case scenarios and prepare for them. But, maybe just a little bit. Yes, let's leave the result to faith. And try to recover from how exhausting that exam was. Right now, just for a little bit. To our family's bright future. See, this is beautiful, man. Something just fell. The family picture, our family portrait fell to the floor. What will become of their mission? Man, they passed. We already know that shit. They already passed. And it's so fucking cool that they left the cliffhanger to episode 4 with the audience knowing that they passed. But the family not knowing that. The family, you could tell that they, they pretty much think that they uh, failed. But we, the audience, we know that they passed, which is fucking cool. And it leaves a cliffhanger to where ep people from episode 5, they're going to be anticipating it for next week, which is the truth. Alright, so we'll uh, come back for episode 5 next week. See you guys. Thank you.